Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the Rev Room. Today, I got my very first pair of studio monitors. Now, these are the PreSonus Iris 3.5 studio monitor speakers, of course. This is the lowest tier in the Iris series. Well, for, I believe it was 2022, they made Model 2 or Gen 2. The first ones, I believe, came out back in 2017. So I never had a pair of studio monitors before. These are my very first ones. Back then, I just used headphones. So we got a box within a box. Now here's what the Eris 3.5 studio monitors look like on the actual PreSonus box. So just going over the box real quick. It says Essential Eris 3.5. Active Media Reference Monitors. It says a big old Eris 3.5 on that side. On the back it says, whether you're upgrading your computer listening experience or getting ready to make some music of your very own, PreSonus Eris Series Studio Monitors deliver professional studio sound in a stylish, compact design with flexible connectivity. Experience audio like never before. Yeah, these are serious. And it also has a rear panel overview of basically one of the speakers, which I will show and go over for you guys. And on the last side of the box, it says compact design, studio quality, onboard tuning controls, flexible connectivity, built in headphone out. First thing you're gonna get in the box is some documentation as well as some padding for the bottom of the studio monitors. Styrofoam. This box is not that big at all. Like, I got both speakers in my lap right now. They ain't too tall, they ain't too wide, so very compact. I already see that. This looks like the pretty much main control studio monitor. And then we got the other one, I guess acts as the right speaker, I believe. Here we have the power cord. In this bag, we have a 3.5 millimeter to RCA cable some speaker wire, as well as a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. And that's pretty much everything in the box. Now, before I do go further with the setup, I did want to let you guys know, I'm not going to be playing any music out of it to test it because obviously it's going to sound different from me being the consumer with the PreSona speakers right in front of me, as opposed to you guys on YouTube. You're not going to hear it the same as I would. So I'm just throwing that out there. And I took the plastic off, but this particular monitor on the back just has the clamps for the speaker wire. So it does power off the other speaker and pretty much the other speaker has all the inputs. Now I noticed too right here, this is the PreSonus emblem. When you're looking at a pair of Eris 3.5s, if it's blue, then it's the first gen. If it's gray like this one, it's the second gen. And now here's the main speaker. Looks a little different on the front, wouldn't you say? Right here, you have the volume output knob. On the front also, right next to that, you have an auxiliary in as well as a headphone port. And to the right of that is your power switch. The top two knobs are for acoustic tuning. You could say high and low. Currently, they're both set at zero dB. And right underneath that, you have left and right balanced inputs. And then you have left and right unbalanced RCA ports, your standby on and off switch, and also too you have your speaker wire clamps right there. That is your output to your right speaker. And on the bottom right there you have your power port. Now let's go over the wires real quick. Right here, this is your speaker wire to basically hook up both monitors to each other. And that basically just powers everything over to the right speaker. That's all that these speaker wires are for. That's all you'll ever need them for with this setup. Now we have a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack. What could you use this for? Plug it in your phone to the front auxiliary in port on the bottom of the left speaker. So now what about this one? We have a 3.5 millimeter to RCA. Basically, you would want to use this one if you're outputting your mixer. Also too, if you guys have seen the iRig stream devices. And overall, let me just say, I absolutely love the slick look of 
these speakers. I'm guessing this bar right here is actually a status light to see if pretty much the thing is powered on or not. These are pretty much, from what I've seen and researched, the best starter studio monitors you could buy for the money. These only cost a hundred bucks. I mean, look at them. Definitely the most highly rated in studio monitors. I think these are a great buy. Guys, head out and get them. If you're looking to hook up a mixer, hook up an audio interface, hook up a keyboard, hook up a synthesizer, you could pretty much output anything to these as long as it has 3.5 RCA or quarter inch. Now I mainly bought these to output the sound for my iRig Keys IO49. Can't wait to start using them and I'm actually gonna go hook them up right now. But thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Rumble at The Reverend of Course. And we got videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. I'm out.